Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop right there. This channel is not intended for kids under the age of 13. So if you're under the age of 13, please leave. Hey everybody, Arthur here with another unboxing video. Today we have Super 7 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Michelangelo, and here we have the shipper cover that this figure comes with. Here we have the actual packaging of the figure, and it comes in that typical slip cover fashion that the other two turtles that I've reviewed come in. So on the other side of this slip cover, it does say Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. The big difference is it says Michelangelo, and the actual logo has some slight differences right there. And then you just take the slip cover right off revealing the figure and all the goodies that he comes with here we have the back of the package and the artwork on the back is exactly the same as the other turtles we just have a different read-up information so feel free to pause it if you want to read it Michelangelo comes with a weapon rack just like every Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figure from the Super 7 line. They come with their own weapon rack and this one definitely pays homage to the original Michelangelo's weapon rack. And as you can see it comes with all the weapons and some pegs to peg some stuff and honestly this is not something I will ever use. Here we get one of the weapons that we've seen on the weapon rack and this is painted. Has a painted blade, has a painted hilt. But also, it is warped all the hell. It is just like all the other turtles. I mean, look at the... It sucks. Like, how come you can't put a weapon into a package without warping the shit out of it? It's, it's crazy. For the price of these figures, you shouldn't have to deal with this. Continuing with the painted weapons, we got this little wall climbing, weird looking weapon dagger thing. And it's painted pretty nice, but... Unlike the other turtles, this one came warped all the hell as well. And for these figures being like $55, $50, this is this is not acceptable. Let, let's be real. Like, look at how warped that is. Um, I'm going to have to heat it up. And it's just, I mean, I'm not even really probably going to use it, but it just sucks. Like, you shouldn't have to deal with this. This is This is horrible. Here we have this weapon looking really nice. And then you turn it. This one's not warped nearly as bad, just the tip looks a little rough and the plastic on it. You can see it looks like chunks are missing or somebody squished it before it was done hardening or something. But uh, we do get some painted weapons, guys. Here we have the painted chucks of Mikey and they're done pretty well. There is a little bit of a slight curve to them a little bit where the chain's at. That's okay because these are chucks that are going to be spinning and being used, so a little bit of an arc to them is definitely okay chains are painted really nice the gold is painted they, they did a pretty good job with these here we have a pair of throwing stars and they look pretty good they're not warped they're painted nicely so definitely some cool throwing stars so instead of getting a closed and open communicator like the other turtles we get the turtle grapple and you can see it's sort of painted shoddily and uh that's a bummer one thing that's sort of cool is that these are rubber Saves you from breaking them and stuff like that. Like the NECA ones were thin plastic. You could break them pretty easily. But with this, you're not going to be able to grapple shit. You're going to hang it up and that thing's going to warp or bend. And then whatever's hanging from it's going to actually drop. And speaking of hanging from it, we get this thin ass dental floss line that's shorter than the actual figure. So, I mean, you, you don't get that much line with it. Let's see if I can bring it up. There you go. How are you going to grapple with that? How are you going to hold on to that? This is just shitty. Now, one thing I got to take my head off towards Super 7 is we actually got surprised with some metal chained chucks. And that is awesome because you always want to be able to, uh, you know, pose your Mikey up with some metal chains. A lot of other uh, companies were doing that. So, of course, they were going to try to follow suit. Thankfully, thankfully, because those painted ones, they were looking okay, but this is what everybody wants when they have a Michelangelo figure, and in order for them to do this, we did get sacrificed our slice of pizza, so Mikey does not come with the individual slice of pizza. We may not have got an individual slice of pizza with Mikey like we were supposed to, but we did still get the pizza box that has a slice sort of attached to it, and uh, we got this sculpted in cheese stuck to the top of the box, which looks great. 
Um, one thing that was weird is like they just put a painted red dot for a uh, pepperoni. Like you mold it up here and you molded the pizza slice and glued it on or whatever. Why couldn't you do that for a piece of pepperoni? Because it just stands out, looks weird. Um, but still cool. We got a pizza box. It says pizza on the side, pizza on the top. I mean, that's, that's pretty much it. And uh, you could definitely use this with other figures, which is cool. So I'm all about like accessories that are like this. Here we got an up close look at the alternate head that Michelangelo comes with. And this is the one I will be displaying him with. It looks really good. Uh, it's got some painted teeth, painted tongue. And speaking of paint, let's sort of focus it in right on the top here. We don't get any texture anymore. We get some, some overspray in the bandana throughout the figure. Um, really bad spray on the back of his head right there and one thing that sort of bugs me don't be making this head sculpt look up because we got these slashes where they attach the jaw separately and uh that's sort of an eyesore when it comes to this so good thing i'll be having his head sort of aiming down a little bit so you can't see it and it, it sort of sucks because when you're looking at these figures you know, you get them, they start having textures in the bandana and everything, and it just seems like they're getting cheaper and lazier with each release. Here we get a close look at the head that comes equipped on Michelangelo, and it's definitely that Playmates uh, style head sculpt. It's got the texture on this bandana slightly. Um, the teeth are painted, and again, with the bandana and everything, they just they just painted it all crazy. And it's just not clean at all. I mean, this is definitely for the price you're paying. You're paying for a premium figure, and uh, they're, they're slacking on it. Definitely compared to the other ones, but uh, thankfully I won't be having this head on it. And, uh, I mean, it doesn't look horrible, you know, but I am going to nitpick it because the cost of this figure and honestly, you should be getting your money's worth. Now, we're not going to go over all the hands that he comes with because he comes with the same hands as his brothers. And the body is pretty much the same sculpt and mold as the other two. Um, just different color plastic, different airbrushing. And I just really like the texture they do on the shell, even on the belt, giving it a nice like leathery style throughout. The back can hold his chucks. And one thing that sort of bugs me when it comes to this back piece is like, it looks like they painted the rivets like a dark gray instead of a silver, and they didn't even do the center ones. I wish they would have added a little bit of silver, so it made this belt pop a little bit more. But the shell is definitely the selling factor for me going down this black hole because they nailed the shell. The sculpt work, the detail, the battle damage, it is beautiful. And uh, as we get down to the legs, done in that darker green, airbrushed with darker parts in the shading and everything it is a really nice looking piece but also in hand it, it feels it feels a little bit cheaper i don't know why maybe it's different plastic it just feels more hollow and brittle um and, and i do have a little bit of loose leg syndrome a little bit with them and uh, that, that sort of bugs me a little bit. So for me, he feels a little bit cheaper compared to Raphael and Leonardo. Um, and, and again, maybe they changed the plastic. Maybe they're cutting corners here and there for cost. But, you know, they didn't cut corners with the cost for us. I love the fact that I can actually get his nunchucks under his arms. And uh, they don't look bad. The chains definitely take it to the next level when it comes to this figure. Looking really, really nice. When you have a company giving you Michelangelo's weapons with, that are actually chained, that is phenomenal, and you're going to have fun with it, and it looks great. It's going to look great on display. I highly recommend using the chained chucks because they, they just look super sexy, and uh, I did put some on the back in his little holsters of his belt, and it's not bad. Uh, putting it in, it definitely uh, stretches a little bit when you're trying to cram this through. But it is thin, so I would say just be careful that you don't overly be aggressive with it. Just like wedge it in and work your way through it because these could tear because it is rubber. Now trying to pose him up to do a high kick and get the balance game on there. So, so far it was looking good, but then it's like you tip him back. Like it, it's, it's, it's super floppy in the hip. Like I, I it, that sucks, but 
as you can see, even though he has floppy hips, he can still balance on one leg. So in the end, Michelangelo is another Super 7 turtle. It's awesome looking. It's a beautiful figure. I just wish the paint quality was better. I wish it didn't feel like a hollow, cheaper quality plastic. I wish the hip wasn't loose, and I wish they didn't restrict some of the accessories. I mean, it's cool we got the metal chained uh, nunchucks. We were not expecting those, but to not have a communicator or even that additional slice of pizza you know, I would like to have enough pizza to create a full slice or at least have the one that's in the box be removable. That would have been really cool. Um, but it, it, for these figures and their price keep creeping up and up, I, I don't feel the premium for the price. So I would say if you're looking at jumping into these figures, I would say enter at your own risk. I'm already deep into it. I have Casey, Donnie, and Slash pre-ordered. I think once I'm done with those three, I'm done done with Super 7 figures because it's it's like it's it's like a love hate like i like them but then it's like it's really the cost the cost for the quality i i can get uh you know two mythic legions figures you know close to two mythic legions figures off of uh, four horsemen when they go on sale uh with their figures and stuff like that for the price of one of these and their quality is to me a lot better you get a lot more for your dollar i just don't like a company increasing pricing and not giving us the quality. But either way, you make your decision. Comment down below. Do you guys feel like these are worth the money? You think they're not worth the money? Let's get some conversation going down here. And if you guys like what you saw, please hit that thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button as it means the world to me. I know it's goofy and you hit a little red button, but it definitely means a lot to me. Go ahead and hit the silver bell notification if you want to stay in the know when I post up a new video. We got Toy Co's website down below for collectibles, so go check that out. See if there's anything you like. If there is, there's a promo code down there for you, too, to get free shipping on anything you see on the website. Make sure you guys check out Toy Co's pre-order group. It's on Facebook. It's free to join. Keeps you in the know with collectibles, especially a lot of the imports like your Storm Collectibles, SH Figuarts, Figma, 3-0, 1,000 Toys. So definitely join up check it out and, and take advantage of some of those pre-order prices because you do not want to pay aftermarket prices for imports it sucks i've done it on a couple figures and it sucks but i want you guys to most importantly have the best luck hunting keep on collecting and have a beautiful day